Hi friends, I'm starting this live a little early today because our schedule changed since my, um, it's President's Day, my son had violin early, so I had to pick him up leaving around 10, so I thought I'll just do this earlier because I really wanted to share, I'm sorry, I'm a little out of breath because I just got done with my run as well, but I wanted to share some things I think are really important for us to remember and to think about and, um, and to just focus on a little today. Um, I wanted to, well, I shouldn't say I wanted to share because um, it's kind of embarrassing, but I felt inspired to share an experience from yesterday. And as I share it, I don't want you guys to think that I think it's something major or that was just like such a big deal because it really wasn't. Um, and it, comp it doesn't compare at all to what most of us struggle with or what we're going through right now. But I think the principle behind it, Oh, it does apply to anything we're struggling with or um, when we do feel um, like we're not feeling heard or like our efforts are not wanted or needed. And so, and I think especially as moms, we struggle with this a lot, um, but really in any capacity, I think this, happen this happens to all of us at some point and in different ways. But um, yesterday, um, so this weekend, I actually was working on this like little free resource I was creating for people. And in my idealistic way, <laughs> and I do this all the time, so I know what to expect, but I always think like, okay, I know, you know, this would really help this person, this would really help this person. And so this is gonna help a lot of people because, you know, they have friends that probably struggle with this too. So I get like thinking about how this is going to be really helpful. And, and then I create it and then I share it with people. And it, pretty much every time, like it doesn't, you know, take off like I think it's going to do, like a lot of people don't share or I don't get a lot of response on it. And that's okay. Like I know that my skill level isn't up to where the passion in my heart is, right? Like it's not up to the desire of where I want to, who I want to reach. Um, and that's, and that's why I'm doing this. You know, I keep practicing and hoping that someday my skills will improve and that I can reach the people that I feel want to hear these things and, and need them or whatever. And so I created this little Free Stars library and I spent quite a bit of time like getting it ready to go. And, um, and so then like I finished it Saturday night and on Sunday um, I was like, um, oh no, well, so I realized like Saturday night, I was like, oh, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I can share this and have it be like a little Valentine's gift. It'll be awesome. So then Sunday comes around and in the afternoon I go to share it. And then like I check on it an hour later and like, no response, like absolutely zero comments, zero likes. I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe it has something to do with the algorithm. I'll just delete it and try again. So I do it again and I share it and I put on my story and everything else, right? And still like zero, nothing. And um, of course it's easy to start to feel a little bit discouraged. Like, um, you know, nobody even wants to hear this stuff. Why do I even try? Why did I spend all that time? I could have been doing something else. And like, does it even matter? Like, does any of this stuff I'm trying to do even matter? Apparently it's not needed or wanted. And, and I try to talk myself out of those thoughts because I know that they're not helpful and that I know what I felt inspired to do and that I just gotta keep trudging even though sometimes it doesn't. But in, at the same time, as I'm telling myself these things, I think, but it does matter. I do want people, like I know I'm doing it for God, but I do want people to be affected by it. And if I'm not doing a good job showing them or reaching them, then like I'm not doing my part. So I'm trying not to have these discouraging thoughts, but they're coming. And, um, and then so I tell my family, like I feel like watching an inspirational movie. You guys wanna watch an inspirational movie? So my husband suggested Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. It's this black and white. My kids are kind of like, what? But, um, but he's like, no, it's rated like one of the top five inspiring movies of all time. So I decided to go ahead and try it. And as I tell you what the story's kind of about, I don't want you to think that I'm thinking like, well, in a way I am, but I'm not thinking like, okay, so, so, you know, this, Senator had this great work to do and I'm like him or whatever else Because um, that's not what I was thinking as I watched it, it wasn't until later that it, that the principle hit me and I'll tell you about that after but basically what this movie is about is this man who is just kind of this hometown boy that has been busy working with boys and trying to do good and just idealistic idealistic guy and they decide to put him to um, appoint him I guess or whatever they do when they choose a senator and then people vote for him um, and because they thought he would be easily manipulated into doing what they wanted. He was naive, he didn't know what he was doing. And so they appoint him and he becomes a senator after he's elected. And, um, and he's popular with the people, right? So they think, oh, this will help us also get elected. So um, he goes to Washington and he has these ideals and he starts trying to have them come to be. 
but he starts to see that not everybody is as honest as he thought and that a lot of people are willing to to buy votes and that there's some corruption in the system and he's just you know astounded because he had this ideal of what america was he starts to see that there's corruption in his ideal and that it's not what he thought and um he's that he because he decides not to um be bought his vote be bought he they start to take down his name and accusing him of things he didn't do and he just gets very very discouraged and he kind of packs his bags and he's sitting in front of the abraham lincoln memorial and just ready to quit and then this young woman who had whom he had impacted who was pretty cynical before um finds them and and because she had been cynical she sees the the truth and realness in what he was trying to do and he realized that she realized that maybe he has a more real view of reality than she did in her cynical ways and so she sees that he's ready to give up and she encourages him and says you know everybody that's ever done anything good in this world um has opposition and has people that want him to quit and and um you know abraham lincoln did and this person did and are you just going to quit now and she encourages them to keep trying and so even though all these things are against him and they're silencing him and not letting people hear what he has to say and nobody seems to be listening and he gets like this flood of letters from people telling him to quit because of the th media and what they're hearing him saying and instead of um quitting like he believes so much in his cause that he um that he doesn't and it, because of his desire and his passion like other people around him those that do hear him choose to um or are changed and and things are changed because of them and so anyway we watched this movie i'm like wow that was really inspiring and um i didn't really relate it to what i was going through at all until my daughter sends this text and so I, when the movie was over i saw that she had sent it and she's in college right now um so she wasn't with us and she said i just wanted you to know that i just watched your latest video and it was super inspiring and I just really needed to hear it and I'm um and, she, and like she complimented like you're you're the good public speaker which you know obviously isn't true but she sees it through this lens of like love um and you know you just got to keep doing this and like it suddenly hit me and I think it was just you know a flash of inspiration like just like he had his little angel this lady that came and told him to keep going when he was feeling like he wanted to quit I've had many instances in my life where that has happened, where I'm like discouraged because something didn't get received as I thought it would, or I feel ignored, or I don't get likes on Facebook or whatever. And someone will say something and I just get that little um, extra courage to, to say, okay, it's making a difference to someone and that's what matters. It's individuals really that, that matter, not masses or uh, you know numbers or whatever else. And so when she said that, it kind of hit me how much it relates to all of us as we are trying so hard and often our efforts seem to go unnoticed or you know as moms even unwanted sometimes well and i say as moms but i'm sure this happens to dads and everybody else too but i just know more from the mom perspective um and how often um we just need to realize that the little things we do each day even if they're in only impacting one person or if it feels like they're only impacting one person and she said this in her text too because i told her i think i needed to hear these things um i've been feeling a little discouraged today she said you know sometimes it feels like we, she said we discussed this in our come follow me lesson today but when we make a difference for someone like that ripples to everybody else and you know it's something i've taught and i believe in um it's that's how we change the world is one little influence at a time and and that ripples that love ripples to to others and so and so as i was pondering that it just hit me like i i think that this is something that Satan really tries hard for us to feel is invisible, unwanted, and unneeded so that we give up our efforts and we just coast through life feeling comfortable, scrolling um, social media, watching movies, and not realizing like our efforts really do matter. We do have important work to do. Um, maybe we're not senators, but our work is equally as important. And, and their lives we have to impact are equally as important and they will make a huge difference in the world if we just get up and try again when we feel um, discouraged. And, and God will put little thoughts or quotes or people in our path that'll help us when we're um, feeling down. And it's a little I love you from him to say, you know, you can keep going. It's okay. Um, 
And so I just wanted to share that with you because I think that, um, that all of us struggle with this and I know that you have important work to do and that you will um, have opposition, but to remember that if you just keep going and moving forward, that you will impact more people than you could probably realize with just the little things you do each day, a smile, uh, a prepared meal, a uh, um, kind comment, a Facebook post, whatever it may be, it makes a difference. So um, I think I'm late to pick up my sense. I better go, uh, but have a good day.